Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the second round of 2015 NHL playoffs right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, and we are going to take a look at the series odds for the Calgary Anaheim series. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me, Peter. Man, I'll tell you, I love, uh, I, I think that the NHL actually has the best playoffs of any uh, major sport. Would you agree with that? And uh, especially from a handicap, both from a fan perspective, but also from a handicapping perspective. I feel if you follow it game in and game out, you can really get a good, uh, good, good uh, angles on value using period lines, using totals and sides. Uh, what do you think, Joe? From a handicapping perspective, that's a little bit of a longer debate. From a fan perspective, absolutely no question. Look, even Phil Jackson took a, a little bit of heat a couple of years ago when he said the NHL playoffs he thought were better than the NBA playoffs. Right. And I can remember Chris Fowler, who's most known for college football and college basketball, I remember him saying on ESPN Radio he felt there was nothing more exciting than the NHL playoffs. Purely from a stand, fan standpoint, 100% from a handicapping standpoint. To be honest with you, I actually like the NBA playoffs a little bit better. Uh, okay, well, there you go, Joe. That's what we care about here, mostly. This is all yeah. about cash, and Joe Duffy delivers at OffshoreInsiders.com. Right, Joe? I do, and uh, NBA playoffs and Major League Baseball underdogs have been cashing in like crazy. going to be a long, hot summer for the odds makers again. All right, well, Anaheim and Calgary, this, you know, Anaheim, what an amazing team, right? Really impressive. Uh, you know, they, during the regular season, they had some, uh, some, some advanced... Uh, puck possession numbers that were not looking so promising for the success in the playoffs, but then they swept Winnipeg, and I thought that Winnipeg might uh, be a candidate for an upset in that one. You know, Anaheim, they come from behind. It's amazing how much they're able to come from behind when down in the yeah. third period. It's amazing how much they're able to pull out wins in one-goal games, and you might think that that would be a treacherous uh, pattern to have in the playoffs, but Anaheim swept Winnipeg. Very impressive. Now they're going up against Calgary, another team that kind of, you know, from Canada and has heart. Calgary's a little bit like Winnipeg, except they don't have the advanced stat uh, advantages that Winnipeg had going into their series with with Anaheim and I don't know if Anaheim can sweep Winnipeg I'm thinking they dominate this series again against uh, Calgary I don't know if they're going to win in seven or if they might get a sweep again I think I'd have to take Anaheim even at minus 230 is that how you see the series going Joe well, you, Peter, you bring up a very good point. And I will say if there's one area that I don't consider myself one of the top experts in, as far as doing some of the live betting, and to be mm -hmm. honest with you, I don't even know how many of the offshore sports books enable you to bet NHL live betting. But what you said is so true. Anaheim had an NHL high of 12 wins when trailing after two periods, but the Flames were third in the NHL with 10 wins. So this is one of those cases where maybe after two periods, bet the team that's trailing and you're probably <laughs> right. going to make some money. But look, as much as I love kind of being the contrarian guy and I like isolating, isolating underdogs, I can't really justify the underdog here. And, you know, the NHL is probably one where the underdog is, is a pretty good bet because you can get a hot goaltender who can steal the series. But in reality, anyone who says that Calgary is going to win outright, I think they're just one of those people making the prediction so they can say they were right afterwards. And if they're wrong, you forget about it. But all signs do point towards Anaheim. They are clearly the better team in Calgary. They're so-so in gold. Their two-headed monster can be very streaky. Uh, I just can't see Calgary pulling off the upset here. Yeah, and, you know, another thing that was kind of eye-popping in the Winnipeg series was uh, the Ducks' second line. I mean, normally you think of them as, you know, their yeah. first line being, you know, the awesome juggernaut that you have to stop, but their second, I mean, if their second line clicks as much as it was clicking in, in the Winnipeg series, forget about it. This will be over in four or five games, right? No, no question about it. And remember, in the NHL playoffs where teams generally shorten their benches, you don't have to worry quite as much about the fourth line. If you have a fourth line, it's a good checking line. But the NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs, both fit into my Adrian Barbeau theory where you really got to be top-heavy. And Anaheim certainly is very top-heavy. And, and they've got more depth and they're, they're better in goaltending. So the advantage is pretty much everything. And, of course, they have the home ice advantage, which they – more than earned. So I don't know if I'm going to lay the heavy lumber, but a Anaheim is certainly should be the overwhelming favorite. I can't justify the underdog. Well, I would lay the lumber here. My pick will be Anaheim minus 230. I'm not going to take Anaheim in four or five just because, you know, they're a team that kind of pulls it out. So maybe Calgary will continue to play above their heads and maybe the Ducks get it mm. in seven, which is how they played their, you know, their series, yeah. their season uh, all season long. So my official pick Anaheim minus 230. I'm going to take the lumber. Do you have an official pick for uh, for this series? If you want to take an underdog price, the Ducks as a sweep in a sweep is uh, plus 709 at Pinnacle right now. Ducks in five has the shortest odds. They're uh, plus 308. I'm going to have to take the shortest odds. I, I do think the Ducks are going to win it in five games. Okay, and I'll take the Ducks just to win it. Minus 230. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks so much.